doing? Howdy folks, good day to you, welcome back. This is gonna be a five minute afternoon quickie. Customer states uh, that the right front headlight is out. Let us confirm their complaint and uh, and remedy their, their complaint. We're uh, squeezing our way into a 2014 Kia Cadenza powering on. Oh, it's really tiny in here. I can't, I can't fit. I don't fit very well. Unfortunately, I, I have to move their seat. There's, there's no getting around it. Sorry, customer, I had to do what I had to do. Backing out. Some of us do not like to move customer seats or steering wheels and uh, personalized settings of that nature because then once they get in their car again, everything's been discombobulated and rearranged and is out of order and it can just uh, can cause a negative customer experience. Let's see, we'll just nose this bad boy in right here behind this Tejo. Okay, parking. And let's fire up the headlights. Uh, we're on, oh, they're already on. Did I do that when I got in? I don't remember. I'll be all right though. All right, hood latch. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see, we've got a low beam on this side and a no low beam on this side, okay? We have confirmed their complaint. Now let's see what the dealio is. Maybe it's a light bulb. Maybe it's not. But first, I'm gonna power this down because it's hot in there and the fans are running. Oh, fun fact, uh, when it comes to headlights, the low beams are always gonna be the outside bulb and the high beams are always gonna be the inside bulb. So, now we know. Anyway, the, uh, I don't even know if we can see. We got bad angles for our dangles here. So there's our high beam bulb, cap, cover, whatever you want to call it. Low beam is over here. You can't see very well, but bear with me. Pull this little weather protecting cover out. There we go. And the bulb, let's see if I can't sneak you guys in there. Uh, hang on. Okay, I had to flip the phone over. That way the camera's around this side so I can sneak inside here. Look at that. That looks like a high intensity discharge lamp. Let's try to get that guy out of there. Hmm, no, I have an idea. Let's get this uh, washer fluid, or coolant, 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 coolant bottle out of the way. I think if I unbolt this, I, I can move it aside and then kind of get a little bit more uh, space to play with here. All right, that's not much. Actually, that's that's a lot. We'll just put it over there. Yeah. -ha. All right, what do we got here? Let's see what's going on. Yeah, there's our back of our bulb. How does that guy come out? Looks like that metal clip right there. I think that's what holds it in. Show. Sure. I need to uh, disconnect said clip. Yeah, this is gonna be hard to film and manipulate at the same time. I don't I don't know if I can do it. Mm -mm. Can't do it. That's fine. I will employ the use of a tool to help me. And uh, I choose I think I like this one best. So I think if I reach in there and get behind this thing. I can unclip it. Maybe. Come on, you. I still can't see. I'm actually looking through the, the phone slash camera so I can see what I'm doing here. Okay, I had to put the camera down and use my, my third hand. Uh, this little clip here is what holds everything in, but you can't unclip it. Yeah, the little, the tabs go in right here in the square. 
you can't unclip it because you gotta push it in first and then pull these tabs away from the tabs that hold them. And, uh, and that was difficult, but uh, but I got it. So this is, that's out now, that's what retains the bulb. And then this is just kind of free floating in there. And then we'll, uh, we'll disconnect that from that. The bulb's looking kind of cloudy. Also not good. Okay, let's get this guy uh, disconnected. There was like negative workspace. Have no space to work. Who would have thought I'd need so many tools for a light bulb? Back in my day, you just unscrewed it, screwed the new one in. There. So here's our HID unit, high intensity discharge. Now we don't know if the bulb failed or if the ballast failed. However, it doesn't matter because they are uh, one singular unit. Okie dokes, so here's our old one. I, I got a new one that was uh, just delivered. Let's see what we got here. Uh, we'll not be touching the, the glass part of this. It's a no-no. But uh, let's see, dimensionally, we are very similar. And let's check the connectors. I hate to go through all this and find the connectors or not the same now one thing i'm noticing here is that this old one has these little notches taken out of it you can see them right right here and right here and then there's two at the top as well the new unit does not have those notches uh, however when uh, looking at the plug I, I don't see any um any tangs or whatever hanging out on the edge of that plug so i, I think this will plug in so let's just uh let's just go for glory here and see if this thing's gonna work i think it will well, I, I hope it will. I'm, I'm being an optimist as always, usually, most of the time. Most of the time, sometimes, I can be optimistic. There. Um, so what I'm going to do now that i uh, got that plugged in, it did plug in, so this is good. I need to uh, get it into its home and that's not going to fly. I must disconnect it again. This is like rocket surgery like nano rocket surgery i'm gonna have to put the bulb in and then plug it in and then put the uh little bracket device on that holds it in place see how we're doing this oh man this is why folks charge like hours at a time just for light bulbs See, all this nice technology comes with a price. There's a front-loaded price on it, and then there's a, there's a cost of ownership. So before I go through all the, the trouble of putting that clip on and making this final, let's power it back on and make sure that it, in fact, does need a new bulb. Powering on. Let's go ahead and power on everything else. Looking good. That one's on. And hey, hey, we're good to go. That one's on too. Okay, off and battery saving measures off. Yeah, this is one of those times when Murphy's gonna get you. You think you uh, you know what the deal is and then you find out halfway through that uh, it's got a BCM problem or some kind of circuit problem. Happens all the time. All right, now this, and this is where the challenge is gonna lie, getting this clip back Oh man, what? Why? What have I done? I do not deserve this. Okay, round two. I uh, that was tweaked a little bit from me trying to pry it off, so I took some pliers and bent it back. Maybe now it it'll go. Uh, I might have to put you guys down and go in there with uh, some more surgical implements. Doo -doo -doo. Not right now, phone. I'm not in the mood. I'm hot and I'm bending over upside down and I'm half blind. This is silly. Can't see. Come on, you. It just like doesn't, it just doesn't go together. There. 
Hang on, I'm gonna pause, sorry guys. Okay, back again. Yeah, I had to go in there with some needle noses and some prying devices and some fingers and everything else. But we can see that uh, I've got the little clip on. Yeah, see that, that guy right there? Hang on, let's, let's point at it some. You don't know what I'm talking about. This clip right here, not, not this, but the one that's part of the headlight housing that actually points forward. So you've got to smash this down and flex these tabs in order for this tab to extend far enough to meet this tab right here. Uh, it's very secure, but kind of silly, I think. Okie dokes, we just are lacking our little cover thing right here that slips into these little four tabs and then it rotates to lock into place. Let's see how this is gonna go. Nothing about this is easy. It's just a headlight. It, oh, and the, the customers are kind of sweating us. What's taking so long? Literally, it's a, it's just a headlight. What's taking so long? Managers have been back twice asking how, how I'm doing here. Um, the third time I'll threaten them with great bodily harm. I have wrenches and they fly very well. Oh, come on. Why? Am I making this harder than it needs to be? Is this a me? Ah, there it is. It's not a me problem, it's a, it's a car problem. There we go. All right, got it, good. Dang, I thought I was done. Wrong. Gotta put this stuff back. First ever coolant click. Okay, tools, you're coming with me. Let's get out of here. See, this is how messes get piled up. I throw all that stuff in a heap because I need to get over here and get the car done because they're pacing around in circles waiting for their light bulb to be finished. Woe is me. It's actually not that bad, I'm used to it. Ramble over. Goodbye, Kia GDI engine. Oh, check this out right here. So look at that. See what I found? I don't think that I did that because my shirt's clean, but I'm going to clean it because this is the type of thing that makes someone go, hey, you put grease on my car, even though I think that that's ink or something. Yeah, that's not coming off. That's not me. But now I can say I tried because you never know if that's what someone's going to complain about. And although well, that was loud again. Although I don't think that I made that little streaking thing right there, because yeah, I'm, I'm pretty clean. Although I don't think I made it, the customer may not realize that it was there, or they may think that I made it. Or it's like, let's say it's the wife's car, and then the husband drove it here today, and then they see that, because they always look for stuff uh, once you've touched it. Then they can go, hey guy, you left a big grease stain on my car, and then I go, oh my god, let me clean that. Or I go, hey, you know, I saw that, and I tried to clean it off, but it looks kind of stuck stuck on there it's a very permanent looking stain i tried to clean it off as best i could but that's what's left see now i've already got a, a solution presented to a problem that wasn't there but i had the foresight to think that it could be there i think i'm rambling again like a lot i don't know you tell me that's what the comment section is for speaking of the comment section this is the point where we reach my moment of self-promotion where number one i thank you for watching my video and then number two i ask you that if you like this video to communicate that to me effectively by tap tap that like button interject a comment or two while you're down there and i will also remind you to tap tap that subscribe button in case you have not already that way you don't miss out on any more of my content and that will also conclude my moment of shameless self-promotion so again and as always thank you for watching and most importantly, before I go, I would like to wish each and every one of you a great day. See you guys later. Parking is the auto, ending transmission now. He doesn't know that I'm here.
Uh, he saw me. See you later, bird. <laughs>